and welcome to Mixed Media Friday. Today I'm playing with the awesome art anthology Velvet and Sorbet paints, as well as a few drops and drippage here and there and some glitter maybe.
And there it is. This page was all about the process and enjoying it. And I had so, so much fun. I don't think there's anything better than paint splatters and drippage uh, when you're talking in terms of mixed media. It, it just, it's uh, unpredictable and it's kind of like little bits and pieces of magic happening all at the same time. Now, this page, of course, is also all about contrast. You have two types of paints. You have the sorbet, um, sorry, the sorbet and the velvet paint. The velvet paint has little gold flecks and it also dries matte and it really does give you the impression of velvet. What I've layered on top is the sorbet paint and the sorbet is kind of like a glaze with gold glitter, a little bit larger than um, the velvet. And over here, of course, ooh, the glass glitter, there are pieces of glass. So you want to make sure that you pick everything up. So just proceed with caution, but it's such a fun medium to play with. I stenciled the heart with the velvet paint. I layered it quite thick because I really wanted a sticky surface so that the, um, the crushed glass had would have time to sit and then really embed themselves into, um, or itself into the paint. I let this dry overnight just because, again, it's glass. You don't want to manipulate this when it's not completely dry, uh, but it's not going anywhere. It's stuck there. The honeycomb that I have stenciled in the background, I have stenciled with uh, a gel medium as opposed to a paste because I really did want it, the uh, honeycomb to sort of blend with the background. So it's a very, very subtle texture, but you can still see it. This was fun. <laughs> this reminds me of a, a yarn, a, a very fibery yarn that I have. So if you have that kind of yarn, you can add it around the heart. I decided to go with the um, Dilutions, the White Linen Dilutions ink spray. Um, and also I added some of the Bombay uh, India ink over top because it wasn't um, wide enough for me. Now, of course, the title. <laughs> I was too impatient, so I did not wait for the bronzer drops to be dry in the background. And so it picked up a little bit, but I let it dry completely and then I went over it with some more India ink and um, it's a lot crisper. The letters, again, another oops, but fixed it. I went with the jelly roll, not the jelly roll, the, um, the gel pen, the Uniball gel pen. And uh, because you need to, you, to apply a little bit of force uh, with the gel pen, my because and because the background was not completely dry, um, it wasn't writing as well. So I went over that with a Montana paint pen because the paint pen you don't need to really apply too much pressure on it. And that's essentially the page. I am so so happy. Those little paint splatters made me so happy. And when you do that, try to create a movement to your page. I had the paint going this way and that was fine. And my heart sits kind of like vertically like that. So I needed to create a little bit of movement side to side, but not too much. So this kind of balances it out. And then the paint splatters I added in a row like that or in a column like that and a little bit to the side. So that kind of gives me a nice balance to the whole page. And of course, I love the white space, uh, which is something that I don't do often enough because I truly, truly love having white space. It gives you um, a moment for your eyes to rest and appreciate the whole picture. So that was it for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you on Tuesday.